This is my battery box at this phase anyway. And you can see that I have sort of tried to enclose it the best I can uh, just by fabricating this little hood area here, which of course um, allows me to have that little strobe light right there, which I think um, makes it, if you kind of just makes it, streamlines a little bit. And then coming out of the battery case it uh, tracks down into this um, basically it's just a panel for the fusing and switching and such in here and uh, I'll show you that in a second but uh, here's of course the off on switch and uh, what's key with this really is getting it where it's a solid fit uh, with some additional bracing on the downside of it and if we come up over here you can see I think um, that the uh, jumper cable type of thing here for the alternate power feed if you have to use alternate battery source um, are right here uh, kind of hidden out of the way which is I like and they feed back up um, and integrate into the uh, main terminal area here so uh, everything's really compact that way and um, on this fabrication I just in effect drill the holes and use these rubber grommets uh, to help feed the lines through keep them clean and then on the output side is um, that's the same if you can see that without it being too blurry so on this side the bracing is um, of course tied up to the upper Londron here then tied back to the lower portion of the battery box and brought back again on this Londron here so I think that will help stabilize this thing uh, it, it, it's not going anywhere that I could tell but uh, we'll have to see if any of this bracing um, interferes with what we have with the engine console being up the, the fuel and all that being up on that side so coming out of the battery um, right in here this will hit this hits down into this 200 amp fuse um, and then jumps over to the switch so once the switch is powered on then I uh, fed this out this way on this uh, copper bar um, and what you have coming off here is the lead going back to the starter and then this jumps back down into a, a 60 amp fuse uh, configuration here and on this side of it um, this will come out and feed power back uh, back up to the cabin so that your main power to the cabin comes off of this 60 amp system where this will feed directly back to the 60 amp shunt and um, go forward from there um, so that you can start tying your um, your power uh, on the front side the lower panel stuff in and uh, then on this bar here I left I kind of like this idea of the bar uh, might be a little ambitious but I am going to uh, have an option if I ever needed to do something here by tapping in I could just drill and bolt something in um, but in my case um, this power supply when, when this thing is turned on here uh, this strobe will come on and it's not only just a good indicator that that you're powering up and it sort of draws attention to that um, it's also a good way to keep you from forgetting to turn this thing off when you're done with your flight or whatever you're doing um, so from here I think um, this is a solid uh, structure everything's good one thing else I would comment on here and I don't know other builders can tell me uh, based on what I've seen a lot of guys do with their batteries, of course, is they, they saddle them in on each side of the airframe here, and they run everything back up, and they use that for weight distribution in terms of getting a proper balance for center of gravity and all that. I get it. But however, if you have an opportunity to put these things in the, in the middle, and like I've done here, then you have the added benefit of tying this uh, 
section of the frame back over to this section of the frame with a fairly sturdy uh, apparatus and help with some of this um, torque and movement of the frame. And of course, um, I also have this bar here that I got from Tim Dernick. Um, and this is something now that I think a lot of builders have gone back and added these. Um, and I do believe that the factory now um, just has this system welded into the frame. So, so this is a great addition to help uh, stabilize the frame system because uh, there's so much uh, pressure and torque when this thing's uh, operating because uh, it does put out a lot of power. Um, and this frame, you want it to be as stable as you can make it, uh, but also maintain a kind of a lightweight um, approach to doing that. And of course, this hood stiffener here is helping with that as well. This thing here is helping to stiffen all of this uh, where you can pick up a lot of problems from torque. So anyway, that's kind of my battery for now. And I do believe that uh, this should work and we'll see. I'm going to continue getting it all wired up and uh, ready to go. So thanks again for watching my video.